Hey everyone, my name is Zick Tabitz. I'm a second year master's student at the Reed College of Media, and this is the Global Brigades Experience. Let's go! Hi everyone, my name is Zick Tabitz. I'm a second year master's student at the Reed College of Media, and I'm also the multimedia specialist for Global Medical and Dental Brigades. During our 2018 spring break trip, I spent most of the time behind the camera. But I will tell you that being behind a camera gives you such a unique experience. WVU's Global Medical and Dental Brigade chapter does four different brigades when we study abroad. We do a medical brigade, we do a dental brigade, we do a public health brigade, and we do a water brigade. Uh, what's really great about our chapter is that we had 60 people travel with us this year. We were able to split our, our group into two so we could tackle two different communities. We ended up seeing about 2,500 patients in a span of four days. So the first aspect of our trip, which is medical and dental brigades, there are really six components that make it all come together. So the first component is triage, where students get an opportunity to take blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, height, weight, really anything that a doctor might need to diagnose their patient. After that, it's consultation, where students get a chance to shadow Nicaraguan physicians to learn more about the sort of health risks that uh, Nicaraguan people are facing daily. After that, patients have the option of going to dental, where students get a chance to shadow dentists and watch them perform things like cavity filling. After that, there's a pharmacy, where students get a chance to shadow a pharmacist. Uh, an important aspect of the entire medical and dental brigade is CHARLA, where students get together to form a presentation to teach children about healthy eating habits, bad eating habits, about how to wash your hands, how to floss your teeth, how to brush your teeth, Dental Brigade, we had our Public Health Brigade, where we helped build sanitation stations, we helped dig trenches to lay down piping to a septic tank, and what's great about this project is that it's going to allow for clean water to run to about 400 families, which is about a thousand people. Once we finished building our sanitation station and digging these trenches, the community came together and they you know, shared songs, they shared dances with us, and at the very end, we even got to share uh, country roads with the entire community. To the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country roads. So there are definitely some takeaways from a global service project like this, and. One of them that has always stood out to me has been how we exercise our privilege in the United States. And I don't mean that in the sense of like wealth and money, but I mean that in the sense of accessibility to things like food and medicine. But in Nicaragua, a citizen has to walk an hour to two hours just to their local health clinic just to get something like ibuprofen. So besides having a good time and traveling outside of the country and experiencing the world, global service projects and study abroad in general really give you a new perspective. You get to experience new cultures, you get to meet new people, you get to see how the world lives outside of your immediate lens. And I love that about study abroad and I love that about global service projects. <laughs>